When Warner Brothers decided to have a go in the field of feature film animation, it didn't start off on a good note, especially during the Disney Renaissance. Granted, there have been some successful films such as the Oscar-winning Happy Feet and films such as Space Jam and The Iron Giant being cult favorites, but it seems whenever they released an animated film project, most of the time it would be a financial flop due to lack of marketing or creative conflict. But then in 2014, a new division called the Warner Animation Group released a little project known as The Lego Movie, which not only gained critical acclaim and a blockbuster hit at the box office, but also plans a sequel and two spin-off movies coming out in 2017. This further proves that Warner Brothers might be joining Disney, Pixar, and Illumination as animated filmmakers. But with the success about the Lego movie, can they also be successful building an original animated film? Let's find out as we take a look at their latest animated feature, Storks. In an age where instead of delivering babies, they deliver packaged goods under the name of Cornerstone.com, Junior, destined to be the new CEO, and an orphan worker by the name of Tulip, have it. Oh, I, a tulip is just fine. Orphan hurts my heart. Yeah, well, anyway, they both discovered a newborn baby that needs to be delivered to a boy who's always been ignored by his hardworking parents. So, against Junior's orders to fire Tulip, they both agreed to have this adorable infant delivered. I had to admit, I wasn't sure what to expect when I decided to go and watch this movie. But after watching it, it was really full of action and laughs. Granted, it did have some awkward moments, such as Tulip talking to herself, and especially that Pigeon Toadie kind of made me cringe at his things. But when Junior and Tulip start to go on their journey, that's when the movie kicks off. My old nemesis, Glass. Birds can't see glass. Oh no! Left, right, left! Not working! Are you kidding me? Surprisingly, this movie has two separate stories, yet managed to connect each other very well, especially at the third act. The first story, where Junior and Tulip try to deliver the newborn baby, has a good balance of action and slapstick, but also succeeds by having Junior and Tulip grow fond of each other. While the second story, where the boy Nate is preparing to have a new baby delivered, starts to grow a bond between him and his parents, which also has a lot of heart as well. The animation is also spectacular to behold. Keep in mind that even though this is a Warner Brothers film, the animation is actually done by Sony Pictures Imageworks, the same studio that did the animation for the Angry Birds movie. I'm amazed this studio can build such gorgeous locations, wonderful designs of both the storks and the humans, and especially how they animated the hilarious slapstick moments, such as how the wolf pack can shapeshift their troops into various vehicles. Wolf pack, form of what is happening? Sorry. What? I never seen that before. Nature shows. I even think the voice acting on some of the characters were pretty cool. Say what you want about Andy Samberg, but I think he did a bang up job as the voice of Junior. Kelsey Grammer is fantastic as the strict boss hunter, and Katie Crown, best known as the voice of Izzy from Toll Drama Island, was enjoyable as Tulip. Heck, I'll even give props to Anton Starkman as the voice of Nate. Like The Secret Life of Pets, if you're looking for a film full of action and laughs, then Storks is worth a good matinee. It may take some time to get through the first act, but trust me, it'll be worth it when the journey begins. Also, don't forget to check out the teaser short for the upcoming LEGO Ninjago movie. It's really hilarious how it's like they are trying to make an epic movie trailer, which is constantly ruined by a chicken. I say this movie is worth going out to see more than once.